How's it going guys? It's Rude Junkie here and today I've got a fun video here. It's going to be on any really Motorola device but I'm going to be showing to you an example here on the Moto G from Amazon. Uh, Moto G 4th Gen. So anyway, but this will work on any Motorola device. It's basically going to allow you to use an awesome really cool script to basically use XML files and stock firmware on your Mac or Linux machine. So I'm just going to show you what I'm on just because show you what I've got. Um, like I said, this does not necessarily only work on this device. It's just, this is going to be kind of a universal thing. But just showing you what I'm on right here. Different software version. Amazon version of this. Um, so we're going to power off the device. And to use this tool, you have to be in bootloader slash fast boot mode. So the first thing to do is just to boot in there. And to do that, you just hold volume down and power. And like I said, this is pretty consistent on any Motorola device. Um, this will get you into bootloader mode or AP, AP fast boot mode, which are basically the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect my USB cable to my computer, my Mac computer. Like I said, this will work on Mac or Linux. The one thing that's really nice about Mac and Linux is that both these operating systems don't require drivers for your Android devices when you plug them in. They just work, which is awesome. Okay, let's go over to my computer, and I'm going to show you what utility we're going to be using and how to use it to do this process. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this. All right, guys, so here we are on my computer, and this is rootjunkies.com, rootjunkiesdl.com, and basically, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need. So, we're gonna go back to home. Here we go. And the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to download a program in Android Programs. And you're going to need to download, it's down here by RSD Lite, because that's the Windows version. Download RSD Lite Mac Linux file. So just click on that and it will download that file. Okay. Besides that, you need to get the firmware you want to use. Now, I have the firmware for this device right here, Moto G 4th Gen. And it's right here under the firmware file and it's right there. Now this firmware will work on the Amazon variant, the XT, I think it's the XT 1625 and the XT, I think it's 1644 for the, for the Moto G Plus. Should work on either one of those, um, Amazon variant, US variant. So go ahead and download that. If you don't have those, I'll give you other links to cool places to grab Motorola firmware besides my site. I do have a lot on here, but there are other repositories I'll link you to in the video description. So you get those two files downloaded, and we're going to go down in here, and I'll show you what we've got. So there's a one. Let's see if I, I think the other one's up here already. Yeah, it is. All right, so I've downloaded them. Basically, you extract them. The one I've extracted to right here to my desktop, and when you open it up, you're left with these. So you have some readme directions. If you want to read through those again, you can. Um, some files you leave alone, and then your uh, RSD flash.sh file, which is really awesome. So then you've got your firmware right here. We go ahead and we can open it up. And this is all of the firmware. So to do this, the easiest thing you do is just copy all the firmware in, in the folder or after you extract it. See it right there? So we copy all that. So Command C will copy it. Bring it over here into the RSD Lite Mac Linux folder where the RSD flash is at and hit uh, paste which is ca command V and it'll paste all the firmware into that folder. Now that you have all the firmware in here we can flash it. So to do that you open a terminal and let me just actually close this terminal out because I was already playing. So we'll open a new terminal window. Um, I always put my terminal down here that's just the easiest way I think there's a way you can launch it from Finder, but it's also in your, your programs. It, it sh you should be able to find your terminal. Let's see if actually, can I, do, can I find it here? Oh, come on, there we go. Yeah, it should be in, I think it's other, let's see. Yeah, terminal. So if you're looking for it, you can find it there too. Just so you guys knew. Escape that, how do I get out of this, man? It's been so long since I played with this thing. There we go. Okay, so it's there as well if you need it. Uh, but basically, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta CD to this folder up here. So you gotta change directory to get there. So we're gonna do CD space. And then the easiest thing that I like to do 
is I like to actually just go where I've extracted that, which mine is right here on my desktop. And um, I'll just go ahead and just drag it. I drag it into the terminal, see? And then let go. So CD space, drag it into the terminal, hit enter, and now you are there, okay? So let's bring this back over here and just show you what we're working with. So basically, every firmware you get from Motorola has um, XML files. So we see we have one right here. That's a service file XML. And then we also have a flash file XML right here. So we can flash either one of these and this will flash the firmware. They do two different things. Service file flashes everything but doesn't wipe your device. Flash file XML flashes everything and wipes the device. So for what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flash the service XML to show you how it functions. But it'll flash any XML. The script will do that. Alright, so let me show you how you do it. So basically, you type in period slash rsd dash flash dot sh space and that is the the file where that's the utility that we're going to be using and then the next thing after the space is just putting in the name of the XML so we're going to use the service file XML so service file dot XML and then you just hit enter and I've kind of put a little bit of a face to it so it tells you welcome to RSD Lite for Mac and Linux, press enter to start your flash. So you've actually set up the whole flash already. Your device is in this mode. It's gonna just go through the whole thing once we hit uh, enter. So let's just do this. So we're just waiting for it to do go through the whole process. Now, if you get something like this, at least on this device, image not signed or corrupt, um, on this device, boot and recovery will do that and it's not an issue. Most of the time, that's a bad sign. Um, that would be an error and something didn't flash correctly. At the end of the script, what it's going to do is it's going to give you a warning to go back and scroll through everything that's happened in your terminal to make sure that it all worked correctly. One of the cool things about this utility is it also checks the MD5 of every file. So the XMLs contain an MD5. It compares the XML file to the MD5s of all the things you downloaded, so it proves that the firmware you're flashing is complete and you got a good download. Um, which is really really awesome. So it does take a little bit. These uh, right now we're flashing system images. Um, some Motorola devices have upwards of 15 to 16 system images. I think this one's got about eight. So it does take some time. Be patient with it and uh, watch it carefully. All right. So this should be the last system image and it should write a little bit quicker than the rest of them because it's just quite a little bit smaller file. Um, and now it's just flashing your radios and everything else. Now, like I said, this was the Amazon version of the Moto G 4th Gen, and it is safe to flash this firmware. Totally works, just so you guys all know. Even with uh, not unlocking the bootloader, it should still function fine. It's all signed from Motorola. All right, so then right here it says, please check for any errors, that are, uh, and then press Enter to reboot device. So normally I just scroll back up through here, make sure everything says sending, okay, writing, everything looks okay. Like I said, there are these two corrupt images for boot and recovery. On this device, it's not an issue. Um, if you see that on other times, you maybe have the wrong firmware. It's hard to say. But, so we're just going to go ahead and hit enter. So the device is rebooting right now. And the flash is completely done, which is awesome. So, like I said, this, this utility works on Mac or Linux. It's been tested on both operating systems and functions quite nicely. Um, basically, like I said, it just converts all the XMLs into fastboot files, and now you can basically use it just like RSD Lite to restore your device. Whether you have an unlocked bootloader or a locked bootloader should not matter. As long as you're fashioning official firmware, you should be good to go. That's going to be about it for me today, guys. Um, hope you've liked this. You can also use this if you want to flash the um, removing of the Amazon Ads XML file that I have. And you can use it to flash that as well, which is just really cool. So hope you haven't liked this video. Big shout out to this guy on XDA who kind of pushed over a bunch of these commands and helped me figure this out. I kind of just cleaned it up and basically using something that he's done, but uh, really loving that. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos on all these Motorola devices, everything new coming out. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.